I've put myself out there enough to know this vulnerable feeling quite well. This channel, the research lines, suspiciousobservers.org, the Mobile Observatory Project, each affirming that observing the frontier is how I want to spend my life. This won't be a one-man show, however. Adrian D'Amico filmed the Observatory Project video, and many of you actually know who he is. The man known as Suspect Sky, focusing on informative art that brings together sky phenomenon and world news. Some of you also know that he and I grew up together as best friends through high school and even as we were a thousand miles apart in university. My co-host for Observing the Frontier is Adrian, Suspect Sky, in our hometown of Pittsburgh. Of course, the conference really wouldn't be the same without this man. Dr. Kongpop Uyen has agreed to speak at the conference. As well as David Talbot of the Thunderbolts Project, they expect to have some big things to report this year. There will be more names announced and special guest appearances. The link to the event is found below this video on YouTube or at the top of the page at suspiciousobservers.org. As I said before, registration opens tomorrow around 6.30 a.m. Eastern Time, the moment when our morning news hits the net. You will be able to get your tickets for the first ever Observers Conference. See you there, and now for the news. Good morning, folks. After a hectic few days of space weather, it is a calmer day that we're observing, departing sunspots with minor pops at the limb, filament mostly remaining stable. Surface surging, failing to produce anything major, and the focus truly comes to the incoming limb with an eye on sunspots and plasma filaments. No big solar flares. The departing spots won't be able to do much more today either. They're heading out of sight while a new group appears on the north, departing hemisphere, while that lone spot we eyed yesterday needs that tiny dot behind him to grow very fast. Here's seven days of solar wind. You can see the CME impact that sparked that level four magnetic storm. Then here you see that the speed began rising again yesterday afternoon. That's the expected coronal hole stream impact. Fast particles, but not nearly the effect on our systems as a solid CME shockwave. If the CMEs hadn't cleared the path for the stream, we might have taken another level 3 or 4 event. Next coronal hole is earth facing as of yesterday. It is a minor one as power is fluctuating up and down, but we still took a larger quake. 6.2 striking Chile along with many aftershocks. Top story is about strange Mars dust plumes and auroras just before this past Christmas, seen by MAVEN. Well, let's see what the sun was doing to Mars back then. It was very active, but that's in Earth's direction. We want to know about Mars, so we run back the orbital diagram and find it off to the left as we look at the sun from Earth's perspective. Indeed, the sun was firing in Mars direction as well, likely triggering those auroras. Click the link to learn more about why they were so surprising. In a nod to our humans and electromagnetism section, daytime and nighttime light exposure patterns of humans are hurting our health. We need natural, not artificial light during the day, and we get too much light at night, period. February Global Climate Report has finally been released and it is also linked for you below this video. Slightly above average temperatures as a whole, but again, if you remove the US West Coast, the most geoengineered place on Earth, it's not looking so hot now, is it? United States and Canada, pressure reinforcing a moisture flow on land from the Pacific. Across the continent, pressure reinforces a cold snap coming down from the north. A third ingredient is all the water you could want as a Gulf flow meets the Pacific flow. And if you don't have a weather alert here tonight, good for you. The rest of us do. In Europe, we still have that low in the southwest and a very strange convergence cresting towards the UK and Ireland. Strange or not, it carries the cloud line and tonight's main alerts. Down under, we're eyeing Nathan as he's decided he likes Australia and wants to stay. Eyes open, people. Beyond that, we're seeing an Antarctic low draw its convergence up to the southeastern portions of Australia. We've got your current conditions and shots of our star to close. Please check out the event page for observing the frontier. Eyes open. No fear. It's 5.55 a.m. Eastern Time and that's the news. Be safe, everyone.